I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Today what I got in store is a lot of cards I bought off of eBay. It looked like an interesting lot. Uh, I decided I wanted to bid on it and I won the bid. And I want to go through the package and show everyone what I got. There was a couple of things that I noticed on the lot, on the picture, that made me want to buy the card and maybe some other people overlooked it. So let's just go through it uh, and see what kind of card I get. I don't know the easiest way how to open this. Looks like there's a little bit of a tear here. All right, everything has a bunch of like eBay tape on it. I'm not even sure where you get eBay tape from, to be honest. Well, it looks like there's four little <laughs> bricks. I guess we'll just start with one. I'm just kind of, I'll kind of skim through them. All right, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Just want to have some fun today. Just decided to buy a lot. Never buy lots expecting to make money. Just do it for fun and to expand your collection and uh, yeah, just treat it like fun. Very interesting. These cards are kind of bagged up really tightly. I don't even know what kind of bags these are in. Are they taped up? Interesting. I think there's tape on them. Rawr. In this lot, it looked like a bunch of older cards. And I did see something in one of the pictures that I was curious about. I wanted to see if it was there. It was really the whole reason why I bid on the lot. If I can even open this. Let's see. However, these are wrapped up. They're wrapped up extremely tight. <laughs> oh my. Got packaging tape everywhere. See the first card? <laughs> Burst of energy. How do I do this? There we go. Interesting bags. For a minute I thought they were like a team bag or something like that, but it's just some cellophane bag. Alright, just kind of go through the first of them. Cool, got some Ice Age, got some Urza's uh, Legacy I believe. Burst of energy. Got a forest. Some island. Got some lands. I just kind of want to go through them. Really cool. Love the art on these. Really beautiful. Mm, kind of left some like smuck, some muck on there. Got a toolbox. Regenerate target artifact. Really beautiful art. Really like it. Got the artist signature in the bottom. Mike Rabe. Cool. There's a lot of cards here, so I'm only going to stop on the ones that I think are really cool. Uh, really cool. Hmm, interesting card. Looks like some sort of gate or something like that. Beautiful artwork. Is there a smudge on the card or is that just uh, the artwork? It's hard to tell. Hmm. Interesting. Got a couple of those. Got a remote isle. Oh, got some cycling lands. Got a rare here. Thrawn Weaponry. Beautiful art. It's four creature. Uh, for a cost artifact as Echo during your next upkeep after permanent comes into play. Uh, under control, pay its casting cost or sacrifice it. You may choose not to untap Thrawn Weaponry during your untap phase. To untap, all creatures gets plus two plus two as long as uh, Thrawn Weaponry remains tapped. So all creatures, including yours and your opponents. Beautiful art too. Looks like there's some like kind of ghost behind him of himself in the past. Maybe that's where he was like a second ago when he moved so fast. It's just like a mirage away. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful art by Anthony S. Waters. So I guess I'll set them to the side, the rares. And I got a couple cycling lands, which are interesting. It's just uh, if you have these in your hand, you can choose to cycle it. Pay two, discard this card for your hand, draw a card, place abilities, and instant. Cool. Really beautiful art as well. Got some more lands, some swamps. Another cycling land. I wonder if I'll get a whole set of them. Got some tinkering gnomes. Ticking gnomes. Beautiful. It looks like they got wound up. They're walking towards some huge black abomination. They got crazy hats on. Really cool. Got some uh, alliances. Arcane Denial. Got a rewind. This is cool. Uh, this is a nice counter spell. If you have four mana, 
a counter target spell and tap up to four lands. So you pay four for it, you untap four lands. It's pretty much free. Slow motion, curfew, or a flux again. This is really beautiful art, I think. Looks like planets or marbles or something just beautiful like that. John of Avon. Beautiful, beautiful art. Two and a blue. Each other enchantment gains during your upkeep. Pay two or sacrifice this enchantment. So it gives all enchantments other than this one, like uh, an upkeep cost, which is cool. If your opponent can't play it, boom, they lose it. Dismiss. Stern Protector. Now we got some weather late. Uh, a blue. Sacrifice a blue permanent. Tar counter target spell. Interesting. So it's just a one cost, and if you sacrifice a blue, it counters a spell. Another Aura Flux. Arcane Laboratory. Foreshadow. Some visions. Cool. Counter target spell that targets a creature. One cost counter spell. Some more Aura Flux. Beautiful card. Got a, got a cycling merfolk. One blue, two for cycling. He's swimming in the water. Looks like he inked himself or something like that. Really skinny body. Looks like he's holding some crazy serpentine swords. Very cool. Got a snap. Another one of these cards that's like kind of free to play. Return target creature to owner's hand. Untap up to two lands. So, you pay two lands for it. Untap up to two lands. Beautiful. That's really cool. Pendril Drake, Whisper of the Muse. Got a fairies. These fairies are flying in the sky. Cool. Look at their hair. They're naked. <laughs> Whisper of the Muse. View of the birds. Just kind of going through these, to seeing what we get. Bouncing bebbles. Look at those guys. It reminds me of like a uh, some like <laughs> some fairies or something like that. They're just. They come out at night through the vents and they just make a muck of your house. <laughs> That's a really cool picture. What is this card? Two and a blue. Bouncing Bevel is unblocked only if the pending player controls an artifact. Two, two. So if you're against a bunch of artifacts, they can't block it. Cool. Bunch of Urzas. A rebuild. Love the art on these. Got a Drake. Death Watch. This poor guy. Looks like he's dying from some sort of disease. Some shadow creatures coming at him. One black. If enchanted creatures put into a graveyard, that creature's controller loses an amount of life equal to its power, and you gain an amount of life equal to its toughness. Interesting card. Deathstroke. A couple of those. Another rare. Got a deranged hermit. Oh, this one's actually pretty good. Uh, three and two green. Summon elf echo during your next upkeep after this permanent comes under play. Pay its passing cost or sacrifice it. When deranged hermit comes into play, put four squirrel tokens into play. Treat these tokens as 1-1 one, one creatures. All squirrels get plus one, plus one. Kind of expensive to play, but you get four squirrel tokens. They all get plus one, plus one, and all your other squirrels get plus one, plus one. So if you're playing a squirrel deck, have this guy in it. Really cool. Another rare. Uh, defense of the heart. Three and a green. Enchantment during your upkeep. If one of your opponents controls three or more creatures, sacrifice Defense of Heart. Search your library for up to two creature cards. Put those creatures into play. Shuffle your library afterwards. Really cool. This is an awesome card as well. Beautiful art, tree folk. Alright, I'm going to charge my camera for a minute and I'll be right back. Right. And I'm back and we're on to the next pack. I hope you can hear me pretty well. I might have covered up the mic a little bit with a little bit of tape, but uh, that's just what it is. We're on to the next pack. So far, we got three rares. Uh, three rares with the gold marks. There could be some rares and like the visions and older sets before they included the color-coded rare indicator. But right now, that's what we got. We got some pretty cool ones. None of the cards. None of the card that I'm was looking for uh, during my initial look through the pictures online. There's a specific card that I'm looking for. I don't want to say it just in case. I am incorrect. Let's just get it open. Let's see. Trying to adjust the camera a little bit. I'm just slipping off my tripod. My tripod is broken a little bit, and I'm taping my camera on right now. <laughs> so I apologize if uh, it's a little muffled sounding because there's some tape over it. All right, got a Pyrexian. Uh, Debaser, really cool looking guy. Yeah. Parks and Dead Knot, Trends of Despair, Parks and Defiler, Parks and Broodling, 
ostracize. This is a really cool discard card. One black, look at target opponent's hand and choose a creature card. That opponent discards it. So you gotta look at their hand, see what's in their hand, and make them discard a creature. Really crazy like blood mist around there, beautiful hill there. Looks like some like rift opened up from another world. And he's seeing through like to the good world from his evil place. Crazy looking man over there, skeleton hands, wishing he could step out there. Hmm. Interesting. It's a uh, summon undead Odiak Wraith. Three and a black. Summon undead swamp walk. Two and two. So if they control swamp, you can just attack them and go right through it. Oh, interesting. Looks like a foreign card after this. If Odiak Wrath damages any player, that player chooses and discards a card. Interesting. Make him discard something. Looks like we got a, a Legends from a different. Maybe Italian or something like that. Looks like Italian. Cool. Let's look to the side. Got a Mind Peel. Got a Plague. Look at this card. Look at the text on this. This is a big text. Carvokian Plague. Two and a black. Enchant creature. Play a non wall creature you control. Draw a card at the beginning of the upkeep. Of the turn that Corrokian Plague comes into play, zero, tap and charge a creature with, to have Corrokian Plague, do one damage to target creature or player, put a negative zero, negative one counter on enchanted creature. So, a bit of a damage to a creature. Hunting Misery, get a Foul Imp, Fog of Nets, Giant Cockroach, got a bunch of giant cockroaches, got a Funeral Charm, this is pretty interesting, a discard card and other things I think. It's just a black funeral charm. Interesting, like, hog work coming through, like, an eye of something. It looks like very demonic looking. Choose one. Target player. Choose and discard a card. Or target creature gets plus two, negative one to end of turn. Or target creature gains swamp walk until end of turn. Then player controls any swamps that creature is unblockable. Pretty cool. Got a bit of choices for one black. Like this. Be fun for a discard deck. Fog of Nets. Looks like I got another rare. Eviscerator. Interesting. It is 3 and 2 black. Summon horror protection from white. It's a 5-5 five, five creature. And when Eviscerator comes into play, lose 5 life. Looks like some sort of steampunk looking guy. Like some sort of bird vulture with human hands made out of gears and whatnot. Interesting picture on the background. Very like orangish red color. Really like it. Really cool. Cool. Got a Evening cards, justice, despondency, he bone charm, stun, sluggishness, this poor guy. <laughs> Orcish farmer, got some ice age, got some, what is that, homelands, or, I think that's homelands. Nothing too good in there. About fate, dwarven nomad, tiger creature with power two or less is unblockable this turn. Pygmy pyrosaur, <laughs> really cool. Got another rare, got Pyromancy. Uh, two and two red enchantment. Three, discard a card at random. Pyromancy only deals target to target creature player damage equal to the total and casted cost of discarded card. So, you can do quite a bit of damage if you have a lot of high mana cost cards in your hand. Beautiful artwork by Quentin Hoover. Beautiful, looks like he's hitting with some sort of power ball like Dragon Ball Z or something. Look at the beautiful sky, look at the detail work on the rocks. Extremely beautiful, this poor lizard guy is getting knocked over by this pyromancer. Boom. Really cool. Keeper of course. Got another pygmy. Hidden spiders. This is always interesting to me. It's one green for an enchantment. And whenever one of your opponents successfully casts a creature with flying, if this is still an enchantment, hidden spiders, hidden spider becomes a 3-5 creature that can block creatures with flying and counts as a spider. So it's one green enchantment. If they cast a spell with flying, a creature with flying becomes a 3-5 spider that can block with reach. Very cool. Overgrowth. Hmm. Interesting. Venomous fangs. Ooh, look at this guy right here. Rawr. Got some sort of like viper. Rawr. I don't want to get bit by that. Huge eyes, red eyes. Got the heat sensor. He's got his tongue sticking on some nasty looking fangs. And this card is two and a green. Whenever enchantment creature, enchanted creature successfully deals damage to target creature, destroy that creature. Gives it like death touch. Cool. This guy is 
Fortitude. Got a couple of those. Gears Embrace. Cave Tigers. Canopy Dragon. Some, uh, Mirage. Cool. Look at this little dragon guy. 4 and 2 green. Summon Dragon. Trample. It's a 4-4. Four, four. 1 and a green. Flying. And loses Trample until end of turn. So this guy can either be Trample or have Flying. But it's cool. You get to choose between. Crossbow Ambush. All creatures you control can block creatures with flying until end of turn. It's one green, so give them all crossbows so they can reach those dragons in the sky. Looks like some crazy sliver. Some, like, scorpion attack thing. <laughs> cool. Got some elves. War dance. Winding worm. Looks like, what is this, uh... What is it? I can't remember. Is this judgment? No. I can't remember the name of this set. This is Forbid, 1 and 2 blue, buyback, choose and discard 2 cards, you may choose and discard 2 cards in addition to any other cost when you play the spell, if you do, put Forbid in your hand instead of your graveyard as a part of its spell effect, counter target spell, so it's a counter spell with a buyback if you discard 2 cards, and it's a 3 cost, got a couple of those, got a, this is a uh, pretty cool, this stops, this slows down a lot of creatures, oh that's a nice card, uh, 2 and a blue, uh, propang propandigate? Pro propaganda. Wow. <laughs> My pronunciation. Each turn, each creature cannot attack you unless attack you, so it's specifically to you. Unless this controller plays an additional two for each creature. Really cool card. Kind of like that. Kind of want to set it to the side. And uh, we got a contamination. This is awesome. Two and a black. Love the art on this. This poor human died right there, you got some crazy walking sliver over there, beautiful like tower in the background, love the clouds, got the green land, you can see like this slime dripping off his flesh. During your upkeep, sacrifice a creature or contamination. Whenever a land is tapped for mana, it produces black instead of its normal type of amount. So it's like a blood moon, but for swamps. But you gotta sacrifice a creature to feed contamination. Cool. Got a, oh, Tortured Existence. Oh, nice. And a Reanimate. This has turned out to be a really nice, uh, really nice buy. Uh, Fildon's Cane. This is, uh, Chronicles, I think. One. Two, tap, reshuffle your graveyard into your library. Move Fildon's Cane from the game. Interesting card. Got a Tortured Existence. This is a pretty good card, actually, I think I remember. It is just one black. Black, choose and discard a creature card. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Awesome. Reanimate is an awesome card, by the way. Uh, one black. Reanimate. Sorcery. Put target creature card from any graveyard into play under your control. Lose life equal to that creature's casting cost. So, take whatever card from any graveyard, put it directly into play for one black, and you lose, you lose life equal to its casting cost. That's awesome. This is a great card. Let me set this one here. Choking Sands is also another pretty good one for Mirage. Uh, one and two black. Beautiful art. Looks like the sands are just choking in this poor village here. You see like the sandstorm hitting the background. Very orange. Got the skull here. Destroy target non-swamp land. If that land is non-basic, choking sands deals two damage to the land's controller. Boom. So if it deals kills a non-basic land, it deals two damage to its controller. Awesome. Set this here. Got a goblin welder. Uh, one red. It's a rare. Looks like he's building some sort of automaton. He's just on some like line <laughs> flying from the ceiling, just tinkering away. Summon Goblin for 1-1. One, one. Tap exchange target artifact and player up. Exchange target artifact or player controls for target artifact card in a, that player's graveyard. Interesting. So if you have an artifact in play and one in your graveyard and you're like, I want a different one, tap it, swap them. Pretty cool card. Crop rotation. I think this is a pretty decent card as well. It's one green instant. Anytime you play crop rotation, check your your land. Search your library for a land card and put that into play. Shuffle your libraries after. So take a land card and swap it for another one. Got a couple of those. Got a Quirun Ranger. Carpet Flowers. This is actually another good card. One green. It is an uncommon. Got some lotuses in the water. Beautiful. Love this, love like the swamp look. Beautiful like hills there. Kind of go showing like a V shape. And the sky is just... Interesting. Such thick layers of colors. Looks like watercolor. Enchantment. During your up main phase, you may add up to X mana of one color to your mana pool. X is the number of islands target opponent controls. So if you're playing against a uh, deck of islands and they have a bunch of islands out, 
this will help you quite a bit. Alright, let's go to the next pack. This is actually turning out to be a really nice, really nice little set. I'm gonna set these to the side. Alright, let's go. Oh, let's go for this one. Just hopefully these ones will open up easier. Cool. I don't think that the seller of this really knew what kind of cards they had. Which is why, because they didn't really picture it the greatest. A lot of these cards were not even shown. And they're pretty good, so it made me think that it was worth buying. And I think it is. Bandage. Angelic Renewal. Hmm. Angelic Renewal. Enchantment. If any creatures are put into your graveyard from play, you may bury Angelic Renewal and put one of those creatures into play. Save your creature. Burst of energy. Ooh, lava axe. Fun. Oh wow, a, sh a foil. A foil, wow, this is an old one. It's a red. A last ditch effort. Sacrifice X creatures. Last ditch effort does X damage to target creature or player. Wow, instant. If you sacrifice a bunch of creatures, you can finish the game with that. That's cool. Got another last ditch effort. I was surprised to see a foil. Look at the foiling on this. It looks pretty nice. And it is an uncommon. This got to be one of the earliest foils. Earlier foils that they've had. Brower Shed. Shield. Bull Hippo. Elvish Lyrist. Really cool. I'm just kind of going through this a little bit quicker than normal. Just because this video will be extremely long. <laughs> and uh, I don't have that much time today. Got three uh, Rancors. Awesome card. You can see this guy's like a burst of energy in his hand. Crazy, his thick neck. Got the trees in the background. Got the lightning coming from him. One green enchanted creature. Uh, one green for enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets plus zero, plus two, and trample. So it gets plus two, uh, plus zero, and trample. And when Rancor is put into your graveyard from play, return this to your hand. So you can keep pumping it out. Awesome. I'm gonna put that in that, the good pile. Got a mana leak. That's awesome. Mana leak. Counter target spell unless this caster plays an additional three. Boom. Really good counter spell. Whisper of the Muse. Pendril Drake. Got some fairies. These fairies are flying in the sky with their scepters. Looks like she has some marks on her leg. One and two blue flying. Tap thorn wind fairies. Deals one damage to target creature or player. Arcane Denial. Counter target spell. Uh, that spell's caster may drop the two cards at the beginning of the next turn. Next turn upkeep. Draw a card at the beginning of the next turn upkeep. Interesting. Look at the beautiful art on that. Such bright, vibrant colors. Looks like a fire guy. Looks like an ice guy. Some got an axe. Got like a vine or a sting. Like, I don't think that's a word, but I think it's just a vine. He's got fire coming out of his hands and he's hitting this guy real hard. Cool. Got another Aura Flux. Some more Drakes. Another slow motion or two. Some more. Got a shift. Draw three cards and choose and discard a card. Cool. Get some more visions, fire blasts, furnace spirit, goblin vandal, goblin medic, goblin vandals. <laughs> Looks like he's got a firecracker, he's about to throw, throw it in the toilet. Boom. One red for a 1-1 one, one summon goblin. Red, destroy target artifact depending player controls. Goblin vandals deals no combat damage this turn. Use this ability only if goblin vandals is attacking and unblocked and only once each turn. Cool. A fling to throw this poor goblin. Sacrifice a creature. The fling deals damage equal to target. Equal to sacrifice this creature's power to target creature or player. Instant. I mean, it's an instant and do a lot of damage instantly. You summon this big guy and it'll fling this guy directly at whatever target you want. <laughs> cool. Some more goblin vandals. Got a flame wave. This is a huge casting cost. Three and four red. Flame wave does four damage to target creature. To target player and each creature he or she controls. Awesome. Huge wave of flaves taking their whole army out. Boom. Really good for like a token deck or something. Got some tree guy. More tree guys. Tempting Lucia. This card is flipped. Summon elf. Sky Shroud Trooper. Very interesting art. His face looks kind of sad. His eyes look like he has black eyes. <laughs> Gang of elk. Symbiosis. These over here. Sleeper's Guild. 
Another one. Silk net. A bunch of silk nets. Wow. Spreading algae. One green enchant land. Play spreading algae only on a swamp. When enchanted land becomes tapped, destroy that land. When spreading algae is put into a graveyard and play, return spreading algae to its owner's hand. Cool. Put those in there. Did I see the last one? I got a silk net. That's the last one. Let's open up this one. This one looks like it has some card sleeves on it. Yeah, there's quite a few card sleeves on this one. So it'll be interesting what's in these card sleeves. We already found a lot of really cool cards that weren't even sleeved. This might be a deck or something. Got a. We'll just put the lands. Ah, they have card sleeves. Swamp. Knight of Stronghold. Goblins of the Flark. This is not a bad card. Four for Protruculus, I think. Interesting. I think I had one of those earlier. Got a swamp. Add, this is Thalicose Lowlands. Add one, this is a Tempest. Add one colorless mana to your mana pool. Tap, add white or blue to your mana pool. Thalicose Lands does, Lowlands does not untap during your next untap phase. Put this in the land pile. Get a Parch. Reflexes, Parch. Flowstone Giant. Got a, what is this, a revised counterspell? Pretty cool. Put this there. Planes, planes. Puppet strings. Three generic. It's Tempest artifact. Two and tap. Tap and untap target creature. Cool. Bloodlust. Got a fireball. Revised fireball. A random. Uh, huh. It's got a price on it. Random sleeve. Tar pit warrior. Two and a black from visions. A tar pit warrior is target of a spell or effect. Berry tar pit warrior. Blue Scarab, Wand of Denial, two generic artifact from Visions, tap, look at the top card of target player's library, if that card is an online card, you may pay two life to put it into a player's graveyard, so you get to look at their graveyard, and if you don't like it, boom, pay two life and get rid of it, got a swamp, quite a few swamps, quite a few, bunch of cool swamps, a random blue elemental blast, put this, uh, I'll put this here, Goblin. Bulwark. Bulwark. Three and two red. Enchantment. From, what is this, Urkus Saga? During your upkeep, Bulwark deals one damage to target opponent for each card in your hand greater than the number of cards in player's hand. Really cool. I kind of like that card. Do some damage if they have more cards than you. Got a Holy Armor. Got a Force of Nature. Perish. This is a cool one. Two and a black. Destroy all green creatures. Those creatures cannot be regenerated this turn. Interesting, these, some of these cards have like prices on them. I wonder if they were trying to sell them that never did. And these stickers look really, really, really old. Got a mountain. Oh, Shallow Grave. That's an awesome card. One and a black. Uh, shallow Grave from Mirage. Put the top creature card from your graveyard into play as though or just as though or just played. That creature is unaffected by summon sickness. Remove the creature card from the game at the end of turn. And a creature card, uh, put top, put top creature card, so whatever creature card is in your graveyard, your top of it, uh, put it into play, it gives haste, and at the end of the turn, sacrifice it. Awesome card. Necromancy. And, um, this is an interesting, interesting card. Looks like a shrunken head or something like that. Really cool detail. I wonder who this is by. Pete Ventures. Two in a black enchantment. You may choose to play Necromancy. As an instant, if you do bury it at the end of turn, if you sorry, my camera just turned off for a minute. When you play Necromancy, choose target creature card in any graveyard. When Necromancy comes into play, put that creature into play as though it was just placed, and uh, Necromancy becomes a creature enchantment to talk to that creature. If Necromancy leaves play, bury that creature. Interesting, got a couple of those. Gemstone Mine, awesome card actually. When Gemstone Mine comes into play, Put three mining counters on it. Tap, remove a mining counter from gemstone mine. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. If there are no mining counters on gemstone mine, bury it. So you get three. It doesn't come in tapped. You can choose any mana you want for it for three taps. That's awesome. Got a bad river. A bad river. Looks like a vulture's eating some like dead 
person. <laughs> bad River comes in play tapped. Sacrifice Bad River. Search your library for an island or swamp card. Put that land into play. Shuffle your library afterwards. Really cool card. Alright. Let me grab the next one. Alright. I'm going to open up this one now. Let me see if I can open it. Wall of corpses, it looks like. Man, whoever packaged these packaged them really, really tight. But at least there's no tape like on the cards. So far, I got a lot of cool cards that I'm liking. I still haven't seen the one card that I thought I saw. But there's still a couple more of these little packs. Wall of Corpses, Wake of Vultures. Looks like an Italian something. Blue, el blue Elemental Blast. We got a Forest, Fertile Grounds, Emerald Charm. Some more Forests from Tempest, it looks like. Quite a bit of them. Let's set these here. Beast of Burden. Six generic artifact creature, Beast of Burden, has power and toughness equal to the total number of creatures in play. So however many creatures in play, he's that tough. And it's rare. Drifting Meadows, more cycling lands. Some revised stuff. Some 4th edition, it looks like. Cool. Goblins of the Flower. Looks like we got a, a Molten Hydra, a rare. One in a red, summon Hydra. It's a 1-1 one, one creature. As uh, one and two red, put a one-one counter on Molten Hydra. Attack, remove all one-one counters from Molten Hydra. Molten Hydra does one damage to target with your player. For each one-one counter, remove this way. Pretty cool. Do a lot of damage if you remove all a bunch of counters, and you can get them out real early. Enslaved Scout. <laughs> Wreck and Ruin. Sky Shroud Elf. Sick and Tired. That's cool. Looks like Ron Spencer drew this one. And Serpent Warrior, and which comes into play. Lose through life. Cool. Reckless Spire. A couple of those. Ooh, rats. Rabid rats. One in a black. Summon rats. Tap. Target blocking creature gets negative one, negative one until end of turn. You get a bunch of these in your rat deck, and you tap with it. Boom. Do a lot of damage. A lot of negative one damage. Really cool. Deathstroke. Dark. Banishing Pyrexian Plague Lord. Three and two black. Summon Carrier. Tap. Uh, sacrifice Pyrexian Plague Lord. Target creature gets negative four, negative four until end of turn. Sacrifice a creature. Target creature gets negative one, negative one until end of turn. Sacrifice him. Give the creature negative four. Uh, sacrifice any other creature. Give it negative one. And it's a four four creature for three and two black. Cool. And it's a rare. Plague Beetles. Very pretty looking beetles. Look at this guy. This is a cool looking card. Cadaverous Knight. Looks like a skull guy. Very beautiful art. Love the shading. Kind of like a hue over it. Like a pink hue from the sunlight. Looks like he's almost on fire but the sun's reflecting on him. Beautiful like purple background. Got the wonderful horse. Look at all the detail. Even the horse is undead. This guy's pretty cool looking. This is drawn by Dermont Power. Two in a black. Summon Knight. Flanking. Whenever a creature without flanking is assigned to block this creature. Blocking creature gets negative one, negative one till end of turn. It's two, two creature for two and a black, and has one and two black. Regenerate. Awesome. Bottomless pit. Brush and death. Tolarian winds. <laughs> Discard your hand and draw that many cards. That's awesome. Cool. Some really cool cards in this, uh, this, like, lot, I guess. Really cool collection. Iron will... A lot of the older sets too. A bunch of death strokes. Two black, destroy target tap creature. Boom, this angel was tapped and she got sliced in half. Sick and tired, swats. A bunch of swats. Sleeper's gill. Sick and tired again. A bunch of those. Got a random, I guess, multicolored car. Spartle, sp spreadle, binding. Blue and a black. 
This guy's like, looks like he's wound up in a wall or something like that. Hey, one life, target permanent cannot be phased out until the beginning of your next upkeep. Can't, he's trying to phase into the wall, but something is stopping him. Cool. Illustrated by Dom with an apostrophe. Right on Dom. Right on. Let me set this. Yeah, I always like the old color of the multicolor cards. Beautiful color in the background, like gold, something like that. Love it. Just going through all these. Ostracized. Awesome. Got a mind peel. Looks like his mind is being peeled away. Beautiful art. Kind of crazy. Scary looking. Hmm. Wonder what medium he used. Awesome. One black. Sorcery. Target player choosing discards a card. Buy back for two and a black. If you pay that, put it back in your hand as the spell resolves. Really cool. On to the next little bundle. If I can open this. There we go. Man, they make these times really hard to open. Looks like we got a mobile fort. These are some more sleeve cards, it looks like. That would be something cool. Mobile fort counts as a wall. Walls cannot attack. Mobile fort gets plus three, negative one until end of turn. And can attack this turn as though we're not a wall. Place ability only once each turn. So you can make it attack if you pay three. But you can only do that five times, otherwise it will kill itself. Cool. Get mountains, some more goblins of the flark. Mountain, mountain, mountain. Some Urza's mountain. Horn of Greed. Whenever any player plays a land, that player draws a card. Awesome. Ooh, some islands. Beautiful islands. Everglades. Looks like another uh, form card. Everglades. Everglades come to play tapped. When Everglades comes into play, return an untapped swarm you control to owner's hands or bury Everglades. Add black and one color to manage your mana pool. Cool, so it adds two to your mana pool. Black and a colorless, but you gotta re return an untapped, an untapped swap. So you can't tap the swap and then bring it back. It's gotta be untapped. Pretty cool card, beautiful art. Got like a moon, maybe the sun there. Cool, love the reflection. Cool card. Put this here. And the land pile, I guess. And uh, got another, I think, Italian card. I'm not sure what this is. Some assassin. Reckless spirit. Ravenous vampire. Oh, look at this bloodthirsty guy. Crazy looking. Looks like he's got dreadlocks or like lizard tail on his head. Crazy looking blue shirt. 3 and 2 black flying during your upkeep. Sacrifice a non artifact creature and put 1 1 counter on Ravenous vampire or tap Ravenous vampire. Cool. So it keeps building, but you gotta sacrifice a creature. Interesting. Giant strength thunderbolt. Kindle. Goblin patrol. Lightning Blast, Bravado, Illicit Auction. This is an interesting card. 3 and 2 black, choose a target creature. Each player may pay, uh, may bid life to for control of that creature. You begin the bidding game with the high, you begin the bidding with the high bid of zero. Proceed uh, in turn order. Each player may top, top the high bid. The auction ends when the high bid stands, the highest bidder loses the amount of life equal to the high bid and gains control of the creature. So the bid for the creatures with life. That's a pretty fun card. I'll set that there. I'll set that. I'll start a little fun pile. Cool. Little homeland, little floodgate, carplusion giant, firefly, cinder wall. Look at this bizarre looking thing. It's got like a two mouse. It's got like an interesting like leg. This is crazy art. L.A. Williams. Three and a black shadow. This creature can be blocked. This creature can block or be blocked only by creatures with shadow. Sacrifice the through mind stripper. Defending player chooses and discards three cards. Use the ability only if the through mind stripper is attacking and unblocked. Interesting. In this scream, wave elemental. Corporate lab rats, some cool rats, a shade, a vampire, the sleeve is weird. Hmm, look at this guy, this reminds me of a 7th edition blue rare, looks like some crazy bunny from Donnie Darko. McGrim, great can, great great card for the uh, discard deck, 2 in a black, enchantment, whenever opponent discards a card, McGrim deals 2 damage to him or her. So, you're getting your opponent to discard cards, use those, got a couple of those too. Cool. 
Give me Grim. Oh wow, we got four of them. Got a Cinder Wall. Carplusion Yeti. Got a boil and a boil. Alright. Got one more little pack. Alright, onto the last little pack. Let's go ahead and open and see what we get inside. Looks like some more sleep cards in here. I still haven't seen the one card that I thought I saw. So maybe it doesn't exist in here. Or maybe my eye saw something wrong. Either way, I had a lot of fun opening this. And uh, thank you guys for stopping by. Wow. Man, these bags are real tight. This pile is all sleeve cards. I'll take half of it. Flickering Ward, Hero's Resolve, Humility. I don't remember all like the super big hitters in these sets. So, I could be missing over some, but I'm not sure. Look at this guy, he's got a mana color for each finger. You can leave upkeep one. When you play Prismatic Circle, choose a color. Tap, I mean one, prevent all damage to you from source of choosing color. Treat further damage from that source normally. Cool. Shaman, Foot Soldier, Temper. X, one, and a white. Interesting, <laughs> interesting layout. Prevent up to X damage to target creature. For each one damage prevent to this way, put a 1-1 one, one counter on that creature. Primal Rage. A worm. Look at his teeth, an evil looking worm. Wild elephant. Blossoming wealth. One green. Gain life equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. And Dragonfly. Another one of these interesting cards with a price on it. Rampant Growth. Bounty of the Hunt. 3 and 2 green. Another foreign card. Not sure what this is. It looks really cool. Put it in the foreign pile. A couple of foreign cards. Wild Elephant. Another Spike Drone. Some Elf. Briar Shield. Elven Catch. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand. 2 and 2 green. Ooh, a sliver. Awesome. Look at this art. This is beautiful, this art. I can't believe it. It almost looks like a picture. Like with a camera. That's beautiful. Whoever did that. Impressive. Roger Raup. Two and a green. It's a 2-2 two -two summon lizard. One and a green. Root Walla gets plus two plus two until end of the turn. Uses his ability only once each turn. So you can make him a 4-4. Four -four. Beautiful, beautiful card. Earthly Harvest. Target player untaps all basic lands he or she controls. Awesome. Rapid Growth. Carnacid. And then the last little pile. Vampirism. Draw a card at the beginning of your upkeep of the turn that Vampirism comes into play. Enchant your creature gets plus one, plus one for each other creature you control. All other creatures you control get negative one, negative one. Interesting. Abyssal Gatekeeper. Library of Latinim. Arcane Denial. Wall of Tears. Man of War. <laughs> That's an interesting, one of the biggest jellyfish in the world, I believe. Two in a blue, looks like lightning almost. When Man of War comes into play, return target creature to owner's hand. It's 2-2. Two, two. Cool. Got a mana leap. Got a counter spell. Hydroblast. Rainbow effort. Ooh, look at this counter spell from Tempest. Counter target spell. Impulse. Visions. One in a blue. Look at the top four cards of your library. Put one of them in your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library. Shuffle your libraries afterwards. Interesting. Mm, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Spinning Darkness, 3000, instant. <laughs> you may remove three black cards from your graveyard instead of paying. Uh, cost. Deals three damage to target creature player. Gain three life. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know what that is. I'm going to set that to the side. Impulse, Forbid, Power Sync, Rainbow Effort. This is a phasing card. Phase in and phase out. Three in a blue. Summon effort flying. Two to phase out. Three one. Updraft. Men of War. This is the card that I thought I saw. Okay, cool. So it was here. You got a self. A force of will. How's it looking like? Hmm. Looks pretty good, actually. Cool. This is my first force of will. And I thought I saw it. In one of the pictures, it was like this. It said force. Of, and then that was it and I knew the color of the force of will so I was right cool got a force of will this is supposedly the one of the best the best counterspell magic three and two blue and Int interrupt 
from alliances. You may pay one life and remove a blue card in your hand from the game instead of paying Force Will's casting cost. Effects that prevent and redirect damage cannot to you be used to counter this loss of life. Counter target spell. So it's pretty much a free counter spell. Uh, if, if you have no mana or you don't have any cards out and someone plays something crazy and this is in your opening hand, remove the blue card, lose a life, and counter that spell. Awesome card. This is probably the most valuable one here. I think they're like 70 bucks or something like that. Could be wrong though. Wall of Tears. Capsize. Permanently exchange control of target artifact or creature for control of target permanent of the same type. So that's pretty cool. Got uh, myself some Force of Will. Counterspell. Mana Leak. Mana Leak. Oh wow, this is uh, an old one. This is like unlimited. Giga's Liege. Three and two, three green. Giga's Liege. Star Star. When defending, Giga's Liege has power and toughness equal to the number of force you control force you have in play. When it's attacking, they're equal to the number of force the opponent has in play. Tap to turn any one land into forest until Gia's Lage leaves play. Mark change lands with counter. Move counter when Gia's leaves leaves play. Lots of text for this card. Oh, interesting. Got a power plant. Sarah Angel. This is an unlimited one, but it's a foreign. Interesting. Got a strip mine. Strip mine, singer vampire, demonic hordes, three and three black, summon demons, tap, destroy one land, pay uh, three black during your upkeep, or uh, hordes becomes tapped, and you lose a land of opponent's choice. Wow, interesting card. Oh, and winter orb, singer vampire, two generic artifact, any player may not untap more than one land. Any player may not untap more than one land during an untap phase of each of his or her turns. Any a player may not untap more than one land. Okay, during the untap phase of each of his turns. So they only untap one land. Kind of freezes. Cool. I'll put this in here. Got a stasis. One in a blue. Enchantment. Players do not get an untap phase during your upkeep. Pay blue or sacrifice stasis. Let's slow it down. Oh, cool. Got a a foil. Promo card from 1999. Beast of Burden. Six generic. Beast of Burden has power and toughness equal to equal uh, toughness each equal to a total number of creatures in play. Six costs for if there's four creatures out to four four. If there's ten creatures out to ten ten. Pretty cool. Huh. Wow. Got a Nicola Nicol Bolas. An Italian one though. Ah, from Legends. Awesome. Two two blue, two black and two red. And I don't know what that says. Uh, put this in there. Yeah. First strike. Ramirez Perdo. Three, two black and a blue. It looks like a pirate. Summon legend. First strike for a four, three. Interesting. Put this. Yeah. Sky spirit. This is Ikatin Town. Five and a white. It's one of those uh, World Series ones. And uh, put forces and tokens into play. Treat these tokens as one, one white creatures. A Scry Spirit. And then the last card I got is Argavian Find. One white. Return target artifact enchantment from your graveyard to your hand. Alright, well, I had a lot of fun opening it up. The coolest card I think I got, the biggest card I got, was uh, Force of Will, I believe. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Hope you guys had a lot of fun. And uh, if anyone knows what the heck this is, if this is anything, eh, let me know. Let's uh, take it out and actually look at it. Doesn't look like much of anything. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know if that means anything. It probably doesn't. Alright. You guys, uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and have a beautiful one.